and welcome welcome everyone to season two of the cap room and you guys might be thinking why can we see your faces right now and that's because <laughs> we balling now we have mm. we're on the come up we are evolving okay i am ben zap here with my co-host niles abston what's in up, person how are you doing i'm bro i'm doing great man Dodgers, we had a little hiccup today, but mm -hmm. we're going to bring it home. It's all good. The Guardians are playing mm. right now. I'll be keeping an eye on it. And here we have our other co-host, Corey Young, on the road. He's not Shakori Young today. He's Shakori A. Smith on the TV. Mm. What is up? Yeah. Come on with the A. Smith. Yeah, come on, A. Smith. I love that. I love that. I'm feeling good. I am on the road. Honey, I'm home tour. But I'm happy to be here with y'all, man. Basketball is back. We are, we are what? Eight days away. Yeah. I'm excited. More than a week. I'm excited, bro. It's gonna be a good season, man. It's gonna be a good season. You know, I th I think uh, unlike the Netflix documentary that was just put out, mm. <laughs> I think this season will be very entertaining. Mm. I yeah, still a lot of juicy it. Drop. Don't don't watch it. Bro. I heard ants pretty funny. Is Ant, it? Well, ants always funny. Okay, but starting five ain't it. That was they should have called that documentary the bench because that did not need to be played damn that was a bar hold on <laughs> <laughs> hold on that was a bar <laughs> but nah yeah bro that shit was it was just it was just 10 episodes of rich niggas loving their families i don't want to watch that i'm sorry i need some drama okay. i need some injuries you know what i'm saying but yeah i don't know watch watch uh if you really want i'd say just go watch uh what's the show about the basketball player survivor's remorse just go watch that again the Yellow Jackets one? No, no, no. The the show, it was on Stars back in the day. LeBron's the producer. Yeah, LeBron oh, show. Okay. Jesse T. Usher. It was good, bro. It showed you like the behind the scenes what it's like to play in the lead. That's probably why they shut that shit down. Because he was really, that was really showing like the real shit. Um, do we need to shout out the sponsor? Or? Oh, not yet. Not yet? Yeah. Okay. They well, haven't given me what to say yet. So. Okay, okay. We'll keep our sponsor a secret. Right. Because it's pretty cool. But okay. we'll keep it a secret. Ooh. Um, okay, so I mean, we haven't potted since uh, the end of the Olympics, so mm -hmm. uh, you would think you know there wouldn't have been much news going on, but we had a humongous trade, the cat to the Knicks, that we want to give our two cents on. We've had like a couple weeks to digest it. I believe this news broke when all of us were about to get on stage, like yeah. thirty minutes. Before. We all were like texting each other, like, oh, "I got a show. I'll, we'll talk right after this set." Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Now that that was insane. Middle of the night, had cat up sweating, taking shots at three a.m. Hey man, who took that picture, y'all? Who y'all think took that picture? Jordan. Jordan. Mm. She ready to get to, get to New York. Mm. She was ready to get up yep. out of Minnesota. What if she yeah. she she facilitated the trade? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I, look, she, I've been to Minneapolis. Once you had the little burger with the cheese in it and some cheese curds and Culver's a couple times, what the fuck else is there to do? Yeah, he's probably too tall to ride on all the rides at the Mall of exactly. America. So. Oh, y'all saying Jordan Woods put the call in. Yeah. This this is Sierra, mm -hmm. Russell Wilson type of thing. Absolutely. Uh, Who else okay. have the power to break up now, the Now okay. Jordan going to get a penthouse in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Who's breaking a penthouse in Manhattan? It's crazy, yeah. dog. A penthouse in Manhattan is crazy. No, I, I. First of all, as soon as I saw this trade, I mean, I was skeptical for both, but immediately once it sunk in for me a little bit, I was just thinking, the Knicks are freaking good. Oh yeah. They're, I I love this five. They're great. I feel like. I feel like it matches Boston so much with the two elite defensive yep. wings, the stretch five. Josh Hart's feisty nits. I mean, yeah. Jalen Brunson leading is one thing, but I mean, Cat Cat can go off, man. You put Cat in a different situation like this. I'm excited for the Knicks, man. I'm right. excited, and I'm a I'm a Deuce McBride truther as He's well. He's good. I I definitely when they made that trade, I definitely was like, okay, they're trying to match Boston's like size and like with the mm. with you know Cat's a stretch five essentially. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the one thing I am worried about is how weak their bench is now. I mean, mm -hmm. we all know they're going to be playing 80 minutes a game because of their coach, uh, Mr. Tibbs. But, I mean, at some point, you got a sub, and it's like you you named Deuce McBride, but it's like who else is on that bench that are you even scared of as an opposing team? 
I mean, I said it immediately. If Mitchell Robinson is healthy, I'm a Mitchell Robinson truther too. I mean, Mitchell, a healthy Mitchell Robinson is dangerous, and you're gonna need a Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo. You're gonna need a healthy Mitchell Robinson to guard bigs out here. Right. And after that, you're right. I'm, I, I do. McBride had some big games. I mean, this Knicks team was freaking incomplete by the end. They were they were falling apart, and right. guys like Duke McBride did step up and make big shots, defended well. Um, am I concerned about Tibbs? Yes, because I don't think guys like Cam Payne and Landry Shamit is going to stay on the floor long enough to even make an impact. Uh, or, yeah, or for Tibbs um, to even care. They are, I mean, their bench right now is an unhealthy Mitchell Robinson, uh, Deuce McBride, and Precious, Precious Achua. And then they're counting on some like minimum veteran signings with Cam Payne or TJ Warren to somehow you know, give them some minutes off the bench. But Tim doesn't like to play those types of players off the bench anyways. First of all, you don't even know which T.J. Warren they signed. They could have signed bubble T.J. Warren. No, they didn't. Mm. Oh my bad. I don't know. I don't okay. know, Tibbs. You this that's you depending on too many light skinned niggas to get the job done. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in it. I'm sorry. Mm. I just I think the trade is dope. But once you get to the playoffs, once where everybody's worn down and stuff, it's like how healthy is that five going to be? Um, the 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 Nova Knicks. Uh, they did a friendship quiz on YouTube. Do you have you guys seen that video? No, I have. I have uh, oh, the GQ. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Algorithm dropped it immediately. Well, GQ Was, dropped were it. They, did they do that before the trade? Yeah, they did it before the trade. Uh-huh. Um, and there were a couple little tidbits that I'd like uh, to share with you. One of the questions was, "What is the one thing Josh Hart complains about the most?" Um, and it is about playing time, specifically about playing too much. So we have it confirmed that Josh Hart hates playing the full game. I mean, didn't he like tear his ab muscle or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, bro. He And that's the other thing. He's one of those like Iron Man hustle type players. So Tib sees that. It's like, oh, yo, you're never coming out. Every you're you just you you're always diving on the floor. You're productive. You're not going to make a bad play. You're staying in the game. He needed to start turning the ball over. That's that's how he'll sit down. <laughs> and then and then they asked uh, the guys to guess uh, Mikhail Bridges' um, games played streak because he has yet to miss a game in the NBA. Oh my god! And they did the math. They guessed it, and they kind of all had like a collective chuckle of like, "Oh, let's see if that happens this year," because they know they they know Tibbs might run him into the ground oh. and he might miss some games. Because wasn't it one the year he got traded to the Nets? Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't he end up playing 84 games? 83. Yeah. 83. Yeah, some, yeah I knew he game. played more yeah, than yeah, the yeah. season actually had. Yeah, poor Mikael. But the, yeah, bro. this is if Tibbs. I mean, this is like a a legitimate like indestructible player, Mikael Bridges. Right. And I think Tibbs is going to take that as a challenge and be like, "I'll play you 45 <laughs> every night, game one, and we'll see I'll what play happens." You. Oh yeah, Mikael, Mikael and Josh Hart better just get there's, used to it. Y'all never coming no, out the game. No player I can physically br- can't break. So let's do this. Um, there's guess, no player I can't. Think. There's uh, I guess so. My thoughts about the trade is that I if you make such a big trade for Mikael Bridges, um, I would at least like to see what I have before I make another trade. Yeah. Um, but I think Corey and Niles, you guys bring up a good point of they basically just copycatted what the what the Celtics did last year, except the cat is now Chris Stops, a little bit of a mm-hmm. healthier Chris Chris Stops, but less defensively sound. Um, so yeah, they're they're on a collision course um to and probably I, be the two best teams. I get the move to add such an offensive punch because I already think the Celtics don't have anybody guard wise that can fuck with Jalen Brunson as far as guarding him. So to bring Cat onto the floor to space the floor out even more, that just gives JB way more time to op- like more room to operate and everything. So hey, you never well, know. Well, well I'll say I think Drew Holiday <laughs> Drew Holiday will be 35 this year. Right. I do think Drew Holiday is still one of the best five perimeter on ball defenders in the league. Yeah. Um Jalen Brunson makes and- everybody look human though. And then you have Derek White. Derek White got beat up at a football game this summer. <laughs> he is out for vengeance. All right. <laughs> I want y'all to know they snatched that, that nigga hat. White, yeah, yeah. That boy, Derek White, is gonna be on a mission. Um Tibbs, we talked about the Tibbs running guys into the ground last year. I, I, and he did maybe. it. Maybe. 
Maybe. That's why they lost. But, may, but, but maybe these motherfuckers can make it all the way to the Just maybe. I, I think. We say this every know, year you know, about him. Yeah, yeah. But that's what makes this fun. New <laughs> season, man. We, well, because hey, what we, we say won. in the middle of every part, hey, man, Jokic is going to win this shit, man. Hey, man, Jokic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jokic. <laughs> Hey man, let's just stop playing, man. <laughs> hey man, get back to the nitty gritty. Uh, yeah, I think yeah for the Knicks. And I guess my last thoughts on the Knicks. I do really like this if Mitchell Roberts is going to be healthy, but I really don't even care that much because I think Precious Achua is almost as much as Mitchell Robinson. I think Dante shooting. You got that said he the best shooting big man of all time. Um, That's what he said verbatim. Yeah, he said that. Do we? Do we talk about the Timberwolves at all and what yeah. this means? Y'all think Julius yeah. Randle is happy? Yeah. yeah, let's mention him. He was in this trade as well. Yeah. Um, let's mention Julius. He, he's a 20 and 10 guy. I mean, this could help Mr. Mr. Sure. All NBA. I think. Uh, I, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I do not like this at all for the Wolves. At all. Really? Not one bit. Not one bit. Hmm. Not one bit. I think, I think this, this is, is super clunky. Yeah, this is for sure a money move at the end of the day. Like this. Yeah, we don't want to pay Cat that sixty million. That contract's about to kick in. Yeah, and playing Randall and freaking Go Bear together. Don't tell me sometimes Julius played good defense. Who gives a damn? He, and Nas Reed is not is not Carl Anthony Towns. I saw it in the Western Conference Finals when Carl Anthony Towns was putting up a stinker, and they thought then that Nas Reed could do as much as do Cat. You guys could think do. they do this trade if they don't have Nas Reed? No. Uh, no, I, no, not at all. No, no, that was I, not at all. Something does excite me about Divincenzo in a closing lineup with Ant in a fourth. I think that's going to be very helpful. He's going to be a helpful perimeter player because I feel helpful like they guard. didn't have that guy that just let that shit fly, regardless. Right. Yeah, I think he's going to be a helpful this, guard. This, this, and this is what we need to get to. Dante Divincenzo is a nuisance. <laughs> I told y'all. You sound like a Republican. I told y'all. I'm, I'm, I told y'all last postseason. I said, "Man, that's the that's the most outstanding player from 2018." The moment that trade happened, he leaked into Sham. Hey, I never even liked the Nova Knicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, and then yesterday in a preseason game, yeah, he almost palmed Rick Brunson's bald head. Look, man. Somebody needs to. Call them the, all right. Somebody, Somebody needs need to. Yeah, bro. Mm. Rick Brunson. Hey, my nigga. Look, if I, if I, I'm, all I'm going to say is if I had a weird case, I'd calm it down in public. Mm. Look. Hey, I don't like Rick Brunson either. He, 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 he got, he got Jalen over there in New York just so he can get a job. That's exactly. unimportant. He's a weirdo. Like, I don't even, I don't nah, even like that. He, he, he I, I tweeted it. I said, Dante better than me because you get in my face. Soon as I get to the locker room, I'm tweeting everybody Google Rick Brunson massage parlor, and I'm gonna just leave it at that and let y'all do y'all own research. <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> I'm gonna just let y'all do y'all own research. Add 2014 at the end. <laughs> Add 2014 Pacific. I would have tweeted that immediately. Like, are you gonna fuck with me, nigga? All right, let's put your mm. case out there. It's just we want to play. <laughs> I fuck with Demon mm. so, bro. Old I mean, leaking that you didn't like your homies is crazy though. No, I, I will say that that, that friendship quiz that I did watch, it looked like the th three were clicking on a different level than with Dante. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it seemed like Dante was kind of like, yo, these kids need to kind of grow up. We're not in college anymore. <laughs> like, that was kind of the vibe this... I was getting. So mm -hmm. I think he might be slightly nah. happy. And he nah, hit the biggest happens. shot of the playoffs for them. Hmm. He say, I saved y'all at Nova. I saved y'all in Madison Square, too. Right. Hey, this is what happens when they let you run the show. This is what happens when they let you run the show. They better let Dante run the show because Anthony Edwards still can't split a double team. Hey, man, chill out. Okay, let's That's move on. That's anti-black. I should have moved on after the Rick Brunson comment, but or before the Rick <laughs> Brunson comment, but let's move on. Um, mm. We are... We have experienced a huge loss for this NBA season, a huge loss mm. to NBA culture, and that is Adrian Wojnarowski. He is no Whoa. longer going to be bombing away throughout the season, and I I think it's going to feel different for the league to only have Shams, no, no competing force, um, and I think like 
Woj not being here this season, I think it's going to feel like whenever LeBron retires and him not being here next yeah, season. Don't even talk like that. He's so, he's such an, he's so important to the culture Woj of the league. Woj is very important to the NBA culture, bro. One of we need to start we need to go meet people. We got to get so we can give Sham some like competition. Yeah. Cuz if you're the <laughs> only one getting the, the sources like it's cuz like bro, those days when it was like back and forth like who was going to leak shit for that was so cool, man. We're going to miss Woj. I, I saw this thing he said where he said, like, he knew it was getting to be too much when, like, he'd be in the car with his kids and pull over in, like, a cemetery parking lot. <laughs> and he's just on his phone. And his kids would be like, yo, what are we doing right now? <laughs> but, yeah, they do want to, you know, he want to be a dad and help out at his old college. Like, good for him. Yeah, I don't know what they put in the water in St. Bonaventure, but Adrian Woj drank it. Like he is for sure a hundred percent about his alma mater. Mm -hmm. Well, they he gets to be the GM. That's college basketball teams have GMs now. Yeah, they they for sure should with the transfer portal and mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, I'm interested to see how how well he does. They'll probably get some some primetime games on no, ESPN. I, I think so too because of Woj. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Anything? Uh, any parting thoughts for Woj, Corey? Uh, Woj is money line. Uh, <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had 20 million left on this contract. It is, man. St. Bonaventure, you talking about transport portals. You ain't bring up the real big thing. NIL money. Hell yeah. This is this is money line. Bro. Shout I out know Kendrick what's Perkins. Going on. Yeah, I know what's going on. They're you laundering money through the children. Mm -hmm. I like that. Always. Theory. Always. We, we are, we are and he went back. Theory. On this pod. Went back to go get that bread. Yeah, he went yeah. back to go get that bread. I ain't mad at you, Woj. Like, scam on. Yeah, you know I mean, he gonna go down in the scamming Hall of Fame for this. But this is crazy. Bigger, bigger than Kendrick Perkins, Big Perk. Did y'all hear about him? No. Dog. Right. Oh. Kendrick Perkins and his business partners have started an NIL company called Nilly, N I L L Y, Nilly, where they will give high school and college uh, athletes cash up front in exchange for percentage of their NIL money and then the ownership of their name, brand, and likeness for like seven years. Mm. Like, bro, <laughs> that is great. Like, that's that's the most scammiest Ooh. shit. You know, like, as sounds, a parent, how sounds, do you even let your kid do that? That sounds predatory. Yeah. Yeah. And ESPN ran a story on it, and he no. worked there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll read it. I'm like, Big Perk, what are we doing here, bro? We already knew you probably didn't read. Oh, it literally but like, Says ESPN investigative report found yeah. the company used predatory tactics. Hell yeah. So, yeah. This shit called Nilly. That just sounds like they're going to do something wrong. Nilly is crazy. I did not know Big Perk was out here, out here scamming. running a scam and getting it. NIL scam. But that makes sense. Them country dudes always be scamming. Hey, bro, I'm telling chill you. Out. Oh, my bad. <laughs> chill out. What's next? Um, what's next? Okay, uh, Woj is gone, and also, um, someone else is gone. ESPN mm. laid off Zach Lowe. Oh, shit. And, Damn. I mean, the Low Post was uh, my favorite NBA podcast. They let go of Zach Lowe and brought Cam Newton. All right, let me stop. Right. And I just, Zach Lowe, if you're listening, um, I'm gonna miss you this season. It won't be the same. You are the closest thing. Uh, to a father to me and I did grow up with my biological father so um, <laughs> oh my god okay, so sorry real dad but Zach Lowe you instilled like a passion for the NBA um, within me that uh, I don't think I would be on this pod today without you so if you mm. ever if you if you don't know what to do um, with your free time, please come down um, to Petty Cash Studios and we would love to have you on the pod Zach yeah, you'd fit right in you okay. Might, you might I, not I, ever get any other job prospects fucking with us, but we'd love to have you on here. Go do like sick. a one, you do that, you know, do the one year deal, prove your worth. Mm, yeah. Mm. Then you get that big FS1 contract. You don't want to just jump into get the contract. The come over yeah. to the cap room. Come turn yeah. us up real quick. Mm -hmm. You signing? Probably, Welcome to the cap room. Yeah, probably like, signing like a thirty like, mil, thirty mil deal up at FS1. He see, he, he mm. said how he would love to live in L.A. Yeah, man, they threw the here, bag so. at Paul Pierce. I, I think they. Yeah. He threw the bag at Paul Pierce. It's sick. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so okay. is there? All right, all right. Before you move on, real quick, I, I'm not being funny. This is a serious suggestion for Zach Lowe's replacement at ESPN. Rashad McCann. All right, <laughs> I, I think you guys are hearing me out. 
right. Shout out Gil Zarita. Shout out my move dog Josiah. <laughs> Move on to the next thing. Rashad McCants is crazy. <laughs> All right, MVP odds. We're picking our MVP. <gasps> Holy oh, shit. Bro. I really should have went through last year's pod uh, to see if we got it right, but I'll do that next year. Um, MVP odds. Luka's favored. Jokic is second. Yes, he is. SGA third and B fourth. Giannis fifth. And some other names. Uh, I guess I'll just go down the list. Giannis is fifth. Ant is sixth. Jalen Brunson, seventh. Jason Tatum, eighth. And then Wemby, ninth. Some other stragglers. Ja, Steph, KD, Tyrese Halliburton, and Donovan Mitchell, Zion. I didn't go uh, past Zion. Who won last year? Jokic. Yeah, right. Joker. Joker. I, I picked Jokic last season. Oh, yeah. We probably all did. Right? Yeah, I think we all did. Yeah. Yeah, let's just say we all did. Yep. No, we got it right. Um, nope, we got it right. <laughs> I'm listening to that. Can, can Jokic? What JD Van say? Uh, I thought we weren't supposed to check, fact check. So none of y'all go back. <laughs> Jokic has three. Does does he get a four? Does he get a fourth? No. Does he go? Well, that would be that would be four out of five years he would win it. Is, does voter fatigue uh, apply to yeah. a lumbering uh, Slovenian? He is or, S- Serbian. Serbian. Um. <clears throat> Voter fatigue, yes, and I don't think the Nuggets are going to be the number one regular season team in the West because mm-hmm. I think, and this is going, this is why Luca's not going to win it either. I think Jokic and Luca mm-hmm. know how to play NBA basketball now, so they know how to they know how to like they don't have to go crazy thirty point triple double regular season to get to the playoff. Like think about it, Dallas was what the six seed last playoffs, and they made it to the Western Conference Finals. You think I see, but I'm with you. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. But it's just like you think Luca's really about to be like, all right, I'm gonna get 34, 11, and 12 every night. Like, no, bro, he's gonna be chilling. And then they're gonna win probably like 49, 50 games and go to the Western Conference Finals. Do you think, Corey, do you think he's motivated to win an MVP? One thousand percent. I, I was that. watching Media Day to, uh this year. And they asked Luca, what's your greatest basketball memory? He said, winning Eurobasket. This nigga is a dog. He only got dog in him. I knew it was gonna happen. I wish we would have won this that we would have won against the Celtics, yeah. but I had a feeling where he was coming in favor. And I think that's all he needs is to come in front running, and this boy is finna just dog it up. You thought 60 20 tens was nice? Luca hunting the MVP. First of all, Clay was there with Steph watching him get that first one. Them boys rallied around him to get that one. Kyrie didn't play with LeBron when they were trying to get him them MVP late in Cleveland. The vets are going to rally to get Luka his MVP. The boy is in the greatest shape of his life. This ain't no goddamn Joel and B. Zion Williamson greatest shape of his life. This is Luka Doncic, fresh off of his first finals appearance. We sent Sean Sweeney overseas with him just to get him sent home from the Olympics early. We couldn't have all that. We had to we had to sit my boy down and get him ready. This is his MVP to lose. I don't I don't know what y'all thinking right now. The boy is 25. He going to solidify himself as one of the greatest to ever do it with this. And we you know, man, we we I, I don't let me skip ahead, but I don't even know why y'all asking me. Y'all knew I said it was Luke. Yeah. Y'all knew Y'all should have just knew. Hey, we, you know, fact, we thought maybe there would be some nuance. In, I mean, in here's your my, you, you're not gonna win MVP from the fourth seed. So, how are we not gonna win MVP from the fourth seed when we one of the best teams in the league? I That's gonna, the thing. You I, can be the best team in the league and not win sixty some games, bro. The Thunder, I, I, the Thunder, about to run everybody out. This watch. I promise yeah. you, I'm right. The Thunder are gonna run everybody out the gym in the regular season and lose in the second round. They're gonna win like sixty four games. SGA is going to average 32, and he's going to win the MVP. Yeah, there's a lot of momentum for Shea right now. And they're going to lose in the second round because they're young and they don't know how to win. Do you think, I mean, do the Mavs have to keep like a win pace with the Thunder to there's no way. Um, win the MVP for Luka? There's no way. There's no way. If the Thunder, let, let's say the Thunder are six or seven games better than the Mavericks. Probably 10. Do we think that makes a difference, uh, uh, or do you think? I mean, Luca's Luca's gonna have to like 
really stuff the stat sheet. I think the like, Mavs are going to the finals again. I'm not saying the Mavs are a okay. bad team. I think the Mavs are going to the finals. I just don't think they're going to take the regular season seriously because they realized what they can do in the playoffs and they just added clay. They not bro. They just they're not going one hundred percent. They did flip the switch last season. Yeah, Luca's the new LeBron, yeah. bro. He know he's got it. He's got this shit. He the game is slow to him now. They not he about look, not they not about to win listen, 55, 60 games. It's just not gonna happen. Y'all are underestimating Luca's love for himself. This boy is for real. <laughs> he called that nigga a narcissist. <laughs> that nigga drives to work in a drop top box Chevy Texas style, baby. He's swinging. To work with jo- with Jordan ones on. That's funny. <laughs> Luka Doncic. I, listen, that team is that team is nine deep now. My Mavericks are nine deep. We will be a uh, one, two, or three seed. We are one of the best three teams, regular season wise. No, no, no questions. And I, I, I think we're gonna prove, man. The, again, flip the switch. No. We finally figured it out. Okay. We got three the switch is always on now. We got Clay Thompson. It's on. It's we not going off again. Because yeah, Clay was great last season, right? Spencer Dinwiddie contract ain't crypto no more, brother. This is real cash that boy playing for. Mm-hmm. Real Jane Hardy. Dwight man. Powell. We got the, the twin bench. towers. Mm-hmm. No, I, don't ever bring great. up Dwight I think, Powell around. I literally think they're going to rep the West in the finals. I just do not think. They're gonna. The Thunder are built for the regular season. Yeah, we'll have our final. They're a bunch of young, fast, athletic guys, and they got one dude deep. that can get a bucket every time he touches the ball. I think they're. Mavs, think, the, we ten deep, bro. I can't go. We ten deep, bro. Right. We ten deep. Okay, we'll move on. I mean, uh, we'll move on to defensive player of the year. In my notes, I just have Wemby. Next question. Yeah, it's Wemby. Wemby should have won it last year. They just they couldn't they couldn't look, they couldn't let a rookie win that shit. He should have won it last year. Uh, Wimby was the best defensive player in the Olympics. Uh, if boys is still gonna be doing four three sixty turns before they get to the rim, yeah, man, let's just etch him up. Like give him five in a row. Let's just give him the next mm-hmm. five. Just give him the next five. The season. Yeah, just <laughs> keep it going from there. Yeah, bro. We ain't got to talk about it. Okay, yeah, that was an easy discussion on that. Oh, right. Need, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you if if somebody does beat Wimby. That nigga had one of the greatest seasons of ever, ever yeah. of all time, and I can't wait to see it. So somebody try to beat him. I want to see it. I guess it'd just be Wemby and not do not finishing like the sixty two game criteria. That'd be the only reason yeah. why he wouldn't win it. You but he's got to play sixty two. <clears throat> he stayed pretty healthy in his rookie year. Huh? No, he did. Yeah, he's been he's been quite healthy. Good. Um, okay, we're about halfway done right now. We're gonna move on <laughs> to. Um, just landscaping the East, uh, for this year Ugh. and just the whole NBA for, um, playoff can, uh, our playoff order and who we think are going to win the finals. I thought this was, was interesting before we started off, um, ESPN's Bauer basketball power index for the NBA title. Okay. Celtics at 26%, Thunder at 13%. Sixers at 13%. Six. Mavs at 10%. Okay. And who do you guys think is fifth with 6%? Knicks. Oh. It's the Lakers. No. Hell no. We don't have a chance in hell. It is it is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Really? For some reason, their models have the Cavs as the fifth best chance to win the NBA title. I love how Ben's the only one that's seen this. It's a YouTube video. Yeah. I watched it on YouTube. Was YouTube it was on video. television. Okay. I don't know about that one. I'm, we gonna definitely Ooh. need that one fact check. So, just to let you guys know that uh, the BPI also thought JB was an awful coach. Yeah. So that is that is what we're staying with. Okay. Um, so the the East. Um, I guess. Um, I'll start off with, um, are there any teams in the East that you're shorting or you're betting on to have a better season than what people think? Um, I think Boston wins the East again. I think that's a lock. So I, do you think they have let, they're like motivated to go back to back? Yes. Like they, they gave the best team in the league a reason to be upset like that's stupid 
Yeah, if anyone's motivated, it would be Jason Tatum for not playing in the Olympics. And JB for not getting the call. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's just like, why are, why are we making the team that's already better than everybody upset? That was stupid. So, they, you know, I, I think them winning the East or at least making it, them making it to the Eastern Conference Finals is a lot. They're they're gonna win two rounds in the playoffs. Like that's that's definitely a lot. Mm. I do think they win the East. Um, I will say I do think the Bucks are gonna be a lot better this time around than they were last year. Okay, so the Bucks are actually <laughs> yeah. the team that I'm shorting this year. Oh, okay. What? I okay. the Bucks. They're they're quite old, and there are some young teams, young up and coming teams that I think are better fit for the regular season. Um, I think this Buck season comes down to if we get the Damian Lillard from two years ago mm -hmm. and put up career stats in Portland, or do we get the Dame uh, last year in Milwaukee? Are we seeing the decline for him? I think he's like the pivotal player yeah. for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is going to do his thing. Right. Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, another another year of aging, and like it's not so much. It, it's the Bucks are getting older. But the young teams, like the Magic and the Pacers, like they're only getting better. Only getting better, yeah, for sure. So I, I kind of have, I don't, I have them in the play-in as the seventh seed. Wow, that's gonna be my. You bold. are smoking dick. That bro. is that wow. is my are bold you prediction. Crazy? Hey, thank you for this East landscape setting me up this beautifully because I've been thinking about this for weeks. Giannis Antetokounmpo is pissed. He is pissed. He ain't played in the postseason in two. Seasons, two seasons. The last time I saw Giannis enter the Kumpo in the postseason, he had Grant Williams throwing fit and Jason Tatum. His lineup was the paint was falling off that motherfucker having to deal with Giannis at the Kumpo, and it wasn't no Chris Middleton around. Y'all are insane right now. I actually saw Damian Lillard go on Club Five Twenty with Jeff T, and he told the world, "You know what? I wasn't even working out last year." Told a lot of people, "I that. wasn't healthy." Now I'm healthy. Yep. I'm ready. I'm coming. I'm a dog. I gotta get me one. I know how Giannis wants the ball. We communicating every day. And the last time I saw Chris Middleton, he was saving a motherfucking season versus the Pacers. Owed my ass. This ain't even no last dance, man. Giannis and the Kumbo is still one of the best three players in the world. Yep. Making him a play in, you're, I think you're smoking. I love Tory and Prince and Gary Trent Jr. with this team. I do think some of the young guys should play more, but this is Doc Rivers and Darvin Ham. But I got Bucks coming out the East, bro. I don't believe wow. in the Philly oh. Sixers. Wow. I don't believe you might be in the smoking Nova on what Dicks. I'm smoking. Because um, no, that was no, also, no, no, that no, is no, equally baby. as hot of a take, but the opposite direction. Bucks in the finals. Hey, Take it how you want it, brother. But the last time Giannis played them Celtics, took them boys to seven, and he didn't have Damian Lillard or Chris Middleton on his team. Okay, that's fair. Mark my words. That's man. fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I had Celtics, Bucks, and the Eastern Conference Finals, but I had Celtics winning in six. Um, because I don't, I don't believe in Philly at all. Okay, so I kind yeah, of... I'm, I'm not a Philly believer. I'm not a Philly believer. I don't think Paul George can stay healthy. Nope. Y'all know how I felt that uh, Joel and B kind of ruined my boy James Harden last good time last yep. year. Yep. And no, I am not a believer. Sorry, Maxie. Yeah. I'm glad you got paid, and I'm glad you took Bryce Young, girl. <laughs> that nigga did take Bryce Young, girl, bro. I just remember that. <laughs> was this was this after he got benched? <laughs> it was around the same time. Oh, okay. Well, now I kind of feel for Bryce Young. Um, so I mean, whoo, you guys are gonna think I'm I'm also smoking the same stuff I was smoking the first time, but for fun, I just put the Sixers in the finals, just because I think that's a fun pick. Um, ben. I didn't want to go Celtics Mavs again because I do have the Mavs coming out of the West again. Um, and I just didn't want to pick the Celtics, you know, I just hate the Knicks. So we're, we're on the Sixers back. Cause it'd just be fun. You know, I, I don't, there's no, there's no argument or stock behind they it. They can't beat the Pacers, bro. Um, no, they can beat the Pacers. In the playoffs? Uh, I think a health, I mean, healthy team, like top to bottom. Like this is one of the most talented rosters in the league right now. You think they're going to be healthy? Come uh, Joel Embiid doesn't care about anything but being healthy for the playoffs. So. 
we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of history stacked against me for sure. Yes, it could be, and a lot of just realism stacked against you as well. Yeah, but I do. I don't know why. I kind of root for Joel Embiid. I just I, do. I, look, as a player, I love him. But it's yeah. just like if I had money, if I have money to put on who's gonna make it. Who? I mean, I'm I, not I putting I, it on Joel. I've Embiid. not been uh, keeping tabs on the the Yabuselli, uh camp. How it's going? Oh yeah, he's he, gonna be a sixer if, if he makes the team. That'd be cool. Yeah, he's gonna be a real game changer. Um. Yeah. I also. So for the East, that was sarcasm. By the by the way, for anyone listening and not watching, I have the. I want to. I want to shout out the Hawks a little bit. Why? I think this is the team I'm going to believe in more than others. Others do oh, just man. because I think getting rid of Dejounte just wasn't working. Get rid of Dejounte. They're a little more focused. They have a little more of an identity, and I think they've just um done a really good job um surrounding trey with like a bit a lot of big wings like dyson daniels showed a lot in the olympics to where like i think he maybe could have been the best player in the trade come like a year or two over Dejounte, and then um nigga i've seen better big wings in american daily the hawks suck i got a trivia question for you guys can you guys name the the hawks number one overall pick the french, the, the french nigga Roy uh, whatever. The, what was the dude's name in Watchmen? What in the in the movie? The Roy Roy, Shire, the Roy Shire, Roy Shack, Zachary Roy Rorschach. Shack. There we no, go. Yeah, Zachary Reesha. Zachary Rorschach. I don't. Um, that's what I said. Hell no. So that's the team that I'm. I, I'm gonna kind of over like uh, Orlando. Um, I think Orlando probably has a, a similar season to what they did last year. Yeah, I think they'll be like fourth or fifth. Um, same with the Pacers. Same with the Cavs. You you believe in the Hawks? I, I have them as as my ninth seed. But oh, I oh just, okay, okay, okay. I just I thought believe, you were saying yeah. like they're gonna make like a run or something. I just think they could like be a little. The and my tenth seed I have is a team not named the Wizards or Nets. Like they're the only two teams uh, that have absolutely uh, zero shot of competing. Even like the Pistons maybe <laughs> have like a slight shot of getting the tenth seed. But I mean the Wizards or Nets. I want to talk about a little bit. We're gonna have an epic tankathon this year with the with the Nets. Oh yeah, and the Wizards. These are some really bad teams yeah. who do not want to win at all. Who have veteran players who they can trade throughout the season. Mm -hmm. We are gonna see which team wants Cooper Flag the most. The most. Yeah, the we Nets, gonna see the Nets have to shake it up, bro. Because I feel like they've been like like eighth place good for like three I, seasons in a row if they start off three and oh cam johnson you're getting traded hell yeah dorian finney smith five and oh you're you're out of here as well you're, you're um, out of here and then uh the wizards i mean you can't trade jordan pool that's impossible um well he's but, the reason they lose there. yeah you want jordan yeah Poole. you want jordan you, you Poole. want jordan pool play jordan pool 40 minutes you guaranteed to lose. So that'll be fun. That'll be a, that'll be a fun thing to watch. We'll Jordan, you play Jordan Poole 40 minutes and make sure no bad bitches sit on the front mm, row. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Discriminate against really good people for right. front row tickets, and they will have Cooper flag. Okay, we can move on to the West now. Um, everyone seems to have the Thunder, the number one seed. Yeah, they're, they're built for the regular season. I, I don't think they're going to do anything, but I... They're going to be the number one seed in the West in the regular season. You can print that. Yeah, I, I find they were the number one seed last year. So with the additions of Caruso and Hartenstein, it's kind of hard for me uh, to think they wouldn't be again because, I mean, other teams didn't really get that much better. The Nuggets lost KCP. The T-Wolves have that trade, so uh, the Cat trade. So they're going to have to work some things out, find a new identity. And I guess it's just how easy are the Mavs going to win um, to c compete with the Thunder. Mm. Now, let me tell y'all something. Now, the day, the day I saw that Alex Caruso trade, I had a little fear because we beat the Thunder in the playoffs last year, guys. But I saw Kyrie have problems with Case and Wallace. I saw Luka in hell versus Lou Dort. So the now know it's going to be Caruso and Lou Dort guarding the Kyrie and Luka dynamic. I, I was a little scared. And then they got Hardenstein. They could play Chet with an actual big. Right. Mm -hmm. And then to re-sign, this is where the, the Sam Prancy don't get enough credit. Aaron Wiggins and Isaiah Joe 
almost won them a couple of them games versus us in the playoffs. And I don't know if y'all remember that that Thunder Mav series now, but game four, SGA, when y'all, I liked y'all uh, MVP thing. I just couldn't go, but <laughs> game four, SGA looked like a guy that could win MVP. Middies galore. Yep. Just any shot he wanted. Walking every goddamn closing us out. They came back and won that one. And I do think they're going to be a really good regular season team. But y'all, Luka Doncic making it to the finals was everybody nightmare. It's so, and so, yeah, he knows how to get there again. All right, I I so, fully believe he'll do it again. Unless y'all expect a hero, Joker, or something like that, Jamal Murray gonna get his groove back like Stella. I don't see it, y'all. Yeah. Mavs going back to the finals. Buddy. Well, Denver about to get sabotaged by a certain young man off their bench. So, you didn't see those four threes he made in that first preseason game. Yeah, how many uh, how many championships have been won in the preseason, Corey? I will say. Preseason basketball has been pretty intense for them. Like they're taking yeah. it pretty serious. Yeah, Giannis and Josh yeah. Giddy just got into it before yeah. I got here. They were about to. Were well, about to no, Giannis is just a stand-up guy. He don't like that nasty shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just okay with his brother holding a roster spot. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! That's Nepotism. money laundering right there. Nepotism. <laughs> that's money laundering. <laughs> we'll get to Thanasis' roster spot in our right. I'm, I'm sure he's made that team. Run it back. Um, <laughs> he might be team captain. Any any thoughts on specific teams in the West? I think this is in terms of like competing for the title. I I, I mean I'm not here saying like the Kings are going to compete for a title or the Pelicans or the Grizzlies. No, I think it's just like the top four of the Thunder Mavs wolves and nuggets. And even the nuggets, man, Christian Brown in that starting five, he's not KCP. I'm significantly less concerned. I think the the nuggets nuggets and the wolves are both taking a step back. So this could be like, yeah, maybe a two headed monster in the West. If I mean, uh, maybe the Pelicans can get it together with Zion and compete. Yeah. yeah, that, that was, I, I like you bringing up that because I, I got two that I, I, I do agree with you. I think this is the Thunder Mavs West. But the two teams I really like outside of the Pelicans, because I do think the last time we saw Zion, he almost sent LeBron James to an AC. I'm loving the Spurs and the Grizzlies. John Moran, Damon is back home again. Yeah. The last time we saw John Moran, he was dunking on Wimby, hitting game winners. Putting up twenty eight on thousands of Lakers, and and, and Wimby just got Chris Ball. Yeah, I, I think Wimby might be like thirty and thirteen. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Wimby, Wimby, Wimby might finish up there in that MVP. I ain't gonna I, lie. To I y'all. would Wimby, not be surprised. I think the Spurs are I, at least a playing team now, just with Chris Ball. I, I do, I do, because I actually, I'm a hater right now. Because now I keep saying, I keep saying your face. I don't think either LA team makes the play in. That's, I think, an okay thing to say. Cause I was, um, that's where I was. Uh, Cause I, I think the Suns are going to be better than both the Lakers and the Clippers. And I right now I have them as the yeah. eighth seed. So. I think the Suns are going to be like seventh or eighth. I don't think the Lakers yep. make the playoffs, bro. And, and the Warriors are 12 deep. I know they did, they lost Clay, but they are 12 deep now. It's gonna be yeah. It's going I mean, I mean, as a Lakers fan, Niles, how are you feeling? Oh, uh, this is gonna be a season of just watching some good basketball, man. I have All no right. expectations. You have your emotional defense mechanisms up. Exactly. Yeah, you will not get hurt this season. No, I'm, I'm gonna be at more Sparks games. I, I believe so. Okay. We're gonna get Paige okay. Beckers. With, hey, Paige Beckers with that Cameron number one pick. Paige, come to LA, okay. baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have no That's faith in this three. Lakers team. Um. Shout out JJ Reddick. I don't know. I mean, I guess the most positive outcome would be, oh, maybe JJ is a good coach. Yeah, which I think he will be. Coach. I just this team just I don't they just don't got it, bro. Yeah, they need they need an elevation. We barely like made the player. playoffs last year, and they're worse this year. They didn't get better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like by by the best player got get, older. They got worse, and we didn't add anybody, so yeah. we're worse. You know, uh, the Suns are definitely better than us. And the Suns aren't good. The Suns, yeah. They the Suns will get like that seventh seed. Um uh, but I'm excited, like you said, I'm excited to see what Memphis, 
Sacramento, San Antonio does. I'm excited. Hey, Memphis, I don't know, man. They just they don't got that spacing. Bane can only do so much. It's gonna be. Bane is the great T T Rex arm bandit. Okay, <laughs> Bane they can do all things through Bane. Brandon Clark is back this year. I yeah. think that's really an X factor. Oh yeah, he was. I want to yeah. see a lot of Brandon Clark, and 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 I think that helps with some of the Luke Kennard. You know, bringing out Marcus Smart. I think Marcus Smart and Bane should be interchangeable. Maybe. I don't know if Marcus yeah. Smart should start on this day. No. I yeah, hope. people have been talking a lot about Zach Eady, like, playing a role. They're going to get Brandon Clark back. Yes, he did come off an Achilles, so, like, yeah. who knows. But Eady's going to have to play, though. Yeah, I always liked what I saw from Brandon Clark and Ja. Yeah, Brandon Clark, five. Brandon Clark is a good player. Um, so, yeah, the, the Grizzlies, for sure. I mean, they've proven to win a lot in the and regular I just, season. I love Ja. I just want to see Ja have a healthy season without yeah, no bullshit. For yeah. sure. Yes, and sir. The Clippers. Sorry. Keep it um, holster, big dog. Keep it holster. The Clippers have a new stadium. Does that give them a couple wins boost? Or a, no. You they're charging no. a lot for these tickets. Y'all trying to go to the Intuit Dome and go sit in the uh the I I was there's like a clipper fan section. You can only sit there if you wear clipper stuff. Yeah, I mean I would go, but then I saw the prices and I was like, there's no, no oh, I will not ridiculous. I will not go to a Clippers game. They're like they're like I think they like made a nightclub in there or some shit like that too. It seems like a super innovative, oh, like cool goodness. stadium, but they're charging like two hundred for nosebleeds right now. They just and they're, the cli- the, they're the they clippers. They're the clippers. Fuck out of Inglewood. You cannot do that if you're the clippers. Um, Stephen Ballmer wants to make his money back fast, right? Uh, but I do want to go because it does look like a cool game. Yeah, you're trying to get the investment back. You ain't even gonna get no Kawhi for forty of them games. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You play at home forty games. Kawhi probably gonna play like twenty four of those. And we probably, I mean, if if the Clippers are like not good, I don't, I don't think James Harden's gonna take it to put the team on his back. No, why would he? Oh, PG no. was that player that got that would get them through the regular season, kind of, you know, and he's gone to give Philly wow. fans hope for the first two months of the season. A lot of Norman Powell and Bones Highland superhero nights. I promise mm-hmm. y'all that. That's, a lot that's of chucking. nasty. They did sign Kevin Porter Jr. They're giving him a shot. Fuck so. that guy. Get that guy oh, out of here. You know, that's where they're at. Fuck Kevin Porter Jr. Man, depending on a Bones Highland ISO for a season is going to be. We that's, haven't even talked about the Rockets. I mean, nasty. I'd probably take the Rockets right now over the Lakers and the Clippers. Yeah, they got same. They got and, same. and I think they got the rookie of the year. You think Reed so? Shepard? Yeah, he's kind of the betting favorite. I, I yeah. really like Reed Shepard. Yeah. He's good. I'm just thinking like I liked him in college, so I'm excited. ime has got a lot of options with that mm-hmm. with that roster. He's gonna have to figure it out because Reed Shepard does look. And like what's he the big man they got? I like him. Shingon. Shingon. But Shingon yeah. might be the odd man out, man. Remember last yeah. year they went on that freak and. He was kind of the odd man out because yeah. he had got injured. Right, right, right. You know, it's kind of like the Julius Randle Knicks thing of like, I don't know, the floor kind of opened up because you're kind of a point guard center for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? As great yeah. as you are. So it's like, we like Jalen Green now. You right. know, so. Shit, bring him yeah. off the bench. They also got uh, Stephen Adams as well. Right. I'd say start Stephen Adams, bring Shingoon off the bench. Yeah, we're going to run, run the second. All right, he made your nasty ass. Got a team. All right. A lot, a lot of nasty people in the league right now. Nasty niggas. That's uh, that's what we need to do. We need to do Shanghai All Stars and then nasty niggas. The first, first, first. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's definitely a thing. Because we know who the coach is. <laughs> first team all nasty. First team all and nasty. nasty. <laughs> First thing on that is sick. <laughs> First team all nasty, coached by Ebay Udoka. Oh, you a nasty dude. We'll jot man. that down in the notes, yeah. Come oh, back to that. shit. All right, it's our... Because uh, they let Josh Primo ugly ass back in the yeah, league. Yeah, he, he's on a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was on a team with Josh Giddy, but they I think they cut him like 24 hours later. <laughs> no. It was too nasty. That's, they was too nasty. Why together. would you have those two niggas in the locker room? That's not. Yeah, they was like the, they was like the Hardy Boys together. That's that unfair really. to the staff. <laughs> like <laughs> these, both these niggas. All right, let me stop. Go on. Yeah, we'll put a pin in that one. Oh my god. Um, okay. We'll do. Um, this is pod number one of the year, which we'll do our annual game. Shanghai All Stars. Yeah, uh, this is a game where we like to predict that uh, you know, you know, some of these players are no longer cut out for the league. But luckily, 
um, American excellence really shines in China on the basketball floor. So they, we, we're not preying on their downfall. We, we are, we are giving them hope. Yeah. To move it, their skills to a different place. Yeah, we want the best for to them. To where we don't have to watch it on TV anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I did go back uh, for our Shanghai All Stars last year. Uh, Niles, you had Cam Reddish. Okay, you were close. You were close. I think this I'm you, so he, close. he's he's damn close. Yeah. Um, you usually get like four, three or four chances with teams, and right. Cam's on his like fourth team, mm -hmm. so you're not far off. Uh, Corey, you had Mo Bamba, really close. The Clippers saved them at the end. They signed him, but wow, you were close with that one. <laughs> wow. And I'd like to take a victory lap because mine was Thanasis. And at this point, he is not on the Bucks roster. Oh, he's not? Yeah. I did not know that. The Damn. nepotism has ended. Wow. I did my not room. know that. So they finally was just like, Giannis, we're not doing this bullshit no more. I think once the Bucks staff saw Thanasis sit the bench on the Grace team and watching a bunch of like late 30-year-old lumbering 6'10 white men play over him. Like, I, I think that was a come on, too Giannis. Far you couldn't them. even get your brother tick on the on the t on the country team. I think Giannis has done enough for him. I I just <laughs> I don't think Thanasis can can complain oh, anymore. Shit. He 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 really extended his welcome, and people are giving LeBron a lot of shit for the nepotism. Giannis started this nepotism. Thanasis is, I think, more egregious than Bronny right of now. Course. That's real. I, I agree. Okay, so uh, Shanghai All Stars. I have I have my number one pick. I got my number one pick. Does anyone? I definitely got my number one pick. Okay, I will go first. Um, boy, this man has has really been something else in the league, and um, his contract is coming to the end at the end of the season, and I don't even know if. And if his contract was still for uh, an, another season, he'd be in the league. But since his contract's up, he may never play basketball again. He might just want to have an easy league, an easy time in China. Uh, my Shanghai All-Star is Ben Simmons. He is. <laughs> hey, this is how I feel about Ben This is the last time I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him one more. I'm going to believe in him one last time. I, I could for sure give a, see a team giving him a chance, not on like a $40 million contract. Yeah. But, I mean, this dude does not want to play basketball. This is, I'm just the last shot. I'm, I, 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 I think he could do a little something. On the nets. I, I, I gave Ben Simmons all of my hope last season in our preseason pod. Uh, I'm out. Yeah, you did. I'm out. Damn. Yeah. So, I'm he, the only, so I'm the only one giving Ben one more shot? I think so, yeah. Yeah. This might mirror my relationship with bad women. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, <laughs> my number one pick, James Wiseman. Ni hao, nigga. <laughs> James Wiseman. You, you, trick, you tricked everybody. Good job. That's a good one. <laughs> you tricked everybody. You was tall, and you got in the way a little bit. <laughs> the the wow. Warriors could have had LaMelo Ball, bro. That's crazy. Uh, all you need is a Penny Hardaway co-sign sometime, bro. Wow. Yeah. James Wiseman. He's he's on Indiana now. All right. Well. Yep. I looked that up. He is on uh, Indiana now. Yeah. Um, that's a good. That's a great pick. Because I mean, so. the Pistons gave him a half a year. Yeah. And they said no thank you. They even played him a lot when they shouldn't have because they were just trying to see what he had. He, he got too many. He got too many chances. All right, Corey. All right, man. I'm glad that we talked about him earlier because this guy, he never lost me any bets, and I don't think he's gonna lose anybody in China any bets. This guy right here, and he's been through a lot of trauma. My my, my first pick is Jordan Poole. I'm Damn. never, I'm never not not at all. One money bet the under on George Ford last season. That guy is terrible now. I don't know what <laughs> happened. Like, he might have lost his powers like Space Jam yeah, when bro. Draymond hit that nigga because it's over, y'all. Get that nigga out the league. Bro, he got Get punched. Him out the league. He got once punched and became him, bad at basketball. <laughs> yeah, once you help the Wizards get Cooper Flag, I just, I don't see. I, I mean, 
just letting them shot chuck somewhere. I mean, maybe, but yeah, I got Jordan Poole. Man. Because the thing is, if you get Cooper Flag, you don't want him on the team. You definitely don't. You don't want Jordan Poole on the team if you have Cooper Flag. I'm not. At I don't all. want you taking shots away from him. Um, okay. I don't want you taking shots, period, but I'm trying to lose. <laughs> How many points do you think he averages this year? Uh, he's like 15, something like that. 15 I got a game. 13.6. That's what I said. Yeah, he's got two more years on his contract after this, but you think the Wizards are just going to pay him not to be on the roster? Because that could be definitely more bad. Unless, he, does, unless he just turns it around this year, but I'm just kind of like, he do, like he's not a good basketball player. Like he doesn't play good he on plays, a team. Like if we were like, playing like pickup ball, like right. it was like two, three of us, whatever. Yeah. Let Jordan ISO everybody all yeah, day. He'd be a great but it's like basketball player. playing five on five in the NBA. Like he's terrible yeah. and he can't guard anybody. Not a soul. Uh, other players I had uh, a trio of, of white centers, Cody Zeller, Mason Plumley, Frank Kaminsky. I, 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 I honestly know big Frank the Tank was still in the league. Uh, I don't know if he's going to make the roster, but who who knows? Those are I'm surprised uh, they're they're just lumbering along. Um, OK, we, we got to finish up here. Yeah, I got one more. Jeff Green, take your old ass out of here, bro. Jeff Green. Let, let a young nigga get that roster spot. You don't need this no more, bro. Mm, you think you think selflessly? Yeah, just come on, bro. Selflessly, you really think that Houston team yeah, needs yeah. Jeff Green? No, they don't. You're 38. Yeah, let somebody have that spot. Stop Vince Carter in this. Funny shit. as hell. All right, I, I guess my last one. I wish. It, I think we all wish we could have put Pat Bev, but he took care of that himself. Right, he did it himself. <laughs> PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker was just sent home by the Clippers a couple weeks ago to go play with his shoe collection. It is over, PJ. I am so sorry, brother. Mm. You scammed as long as you could, brother. I mean, he's been in the league for two years in this league. without taking a shot. Like, yep. he's somehow... Without taking a he shot. He doesn't shoot. He's gotten playing time. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, he, he's been done since, like, 2022. Yep, yep, yep. A little bit right after they won, he won that ring. Yeah, man, so... I hey, mean, thank you, PJ. Thank you, PJ. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, man, we got that clip going to live forever, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that has been our episode. Our what a what preview. a start, man! Yeah, we're we're for sure on the come up. Anything you guys want to plug right now? Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, why is why am I blanking? Oh yeah, if you're in New York, October nineteenth, uh, ninety eight Honda is screening at the Bushwick Film Festival uh, at seven thirty. Get your tickets. You can either go to the link in my bio or Bushwick Film Festival to see that short film screening block. But yeah, we're really excited. The film's premiering there. So uh, come check that out. Yeah, I really, I, I love, I went from incredible lightning in my mom's basement to them. But that is because I am literally on the Honey, I'm Home tour. I'm on the, I'm in the Midwest. I'm on the East Coast. So if you're out here, grab tickets. You can get them in my bio. Hit me on the gram. I mean, this is real community. Big independence out here. I'm having a great time, y'all. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if this pod is going to drop before my show, but I'm throwing a comedy show at the Nate Holden Theater Friday, October 18th. Oh, yeah. um, tell everyone comedy club. If you guys are around and want to get tickets, that'd be amazing. But I'm sure we're going to pull be up on Big Ben. Come on. Be, uh, the yeah. Sell one, Ben shit out. If this one goes well, there will be more. So oh, yeah. that's been the that's cap the room. That's favorite phrase. <laughs> right. <laughs> That is with the cap room. We're back season two. I mean, this is going to be, this is going to blow season one out of the water. It for is. Sure. We'll see y'all next Facts. week. All right. Facts. See y'all next week. Stop the cap. Yep. Peace.